Crushing on my bestie, yo I was so blind, but now I see, yo She's everything I want and I need it more I'm breaking all the rules, I wanna make a mom fool That's the truth, see I'm crushing on my bestie Okay, this exhibition is called Black Blossoms and it's highlighting the voices of black women. The voices of black women are constantly like, ignored to, sh to show that we are more than what we are perceived to be. Like, we're talented, we're creative and it's just a creative outlet to sh express these frustrations, to express beauty, to express our culture and just that we have a mind pretty much. That is what this exhibition is about. That's just summarizing it but it's quite an important exhibition. And I think um, a lot of people will be influenced and inspired by this exhibition, not just black people, it's not just for black women. I feel like even other women of different races say to my work that they really, they can connect to it. Even though they're not black women, they understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from as a woman. And I, I really appreciate that. And I think that's the best thing I could hope for and wish for from my paintings and this whole exhibition. I'm really grateful to be a part of so, something so like elite, exclusive for us, but at the same time, it's welcoming to anyone to come and look at it. I can't really remember, if I'm honest, I remember when I started drawing, but it's just somehow, I think school time, which was, let's say, year seven, onwards to uni I've been painting and I've just been developing and pushing it and trying to go through different mediums and get frustrated and saying I actually don't like what I'm doing but I still try to figure out what it is I want to do because it's only in the third year where these paintings came about second year first year I honestly didn't know what I was making I was just making it to pass the next stage to get to the next year that's literally what I was doing and in third year something happened and these massive beautiful paintings just came out of nowhere and I've just been running with it Hey mom. <laughs> yes, I'm Tony. Wow. I don't know. When I had Michaela, I can actually, I can actually remember the day Michaela was born, and I, I looked at her and I knew there was something special in this child. At the age of five, when she painted my magnolia wall back in Jamaica, I was angry, but I saw such talent. So I didn't clean the wall, I handed her a sketchbook and it's just taken off from then. I am so proud of what she's achieved. And leaving Jamaica and coming to London, I wanted, I mean they say the world's your oyster, I wanted her to be able to embrace what's out there and so far she's taken the baton and she's running and I can only hope and pray that it continues. Thank you. Okay, I know you're not going to believe me. But this painting takes me a day. I'm not joking, I'm not lying, that's literally, I'm a fast painter. It's been, at first I thought it was a problem because you know at school, um, your GCSEs and A-levels, you're being timed in the next, um, so GCSE is 10 hours and A-level is it 12 hours and I used to finish so quick and I used to just like rub out of air and do it again because I keep finishing so quick and I was like, oh, I need to slow down and I just stopped slowing down I just painted as fast as I can. So this painting a day, I did this in my studio a day, like I just, I do it in one layer, then I paint over it again until I'm happy, I stand back, I put my glasses on, see if I miss anything, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good, move on to the next painting. It just takes me a day. And if they're smaller, less than that, but the really big paintings, one day. Okay, um, you can find my work on pretty much most social media. I've tried to cover every single social media. So Instagram, Twitter, it's the exact same thing. It's Michaela Henry Lowe, at Michaela Henry Lowe. I'm, sorry, I'm on Facebook as well. And also I have my website. It's michaelahenrylow.webelie.com. All this information, if you literally is on my Instagram. If you go on my Instagram, all my info is there. You can get my email. And also I've been, I'm involved in, what's it, five exhibitions now. Before it was just two. This was my first one, and then I was, I'm was GX Gallery, and then I'm also involved in one called Unmasked Women, which is opening this weekend. And 
further on in October, there's one that's going to be called I, Angry Black Woman by this, this poet, and I'm going to be involved in that. I haven't made paintings yet. I'm figuring out what I'm going to do, how big, what size. I'm going to go like quite in your face, colourful, but thinking about it, so I pay writing down my notes. And the fifth one is Creative Debut, which I recently dropped off two paintings for. So I'm literally just trying to just do so many things. I'm working, busy, being busy, commissions. I've made a commission for like one of my bosses at work and he absolutely loves it and he took a picture of it in his house and sent it to me and it's like the best thing ever because like I literally you don't understand when you're just sitting there for hours looking at a painting and then you see your painting out of your space and then someone's like hung up you're like wow you have to sit back and say I did that and I'm, I'm really appreciating all these things that are happening I'm just really grateful and I feel so blessed <laughs> to have all these opportunities Thank you TCJ Media Productions. I really, really appreciate this. <laughs>